Yo, what's good with you? My fellow producers, it's your boy Topso back again with another video. So yeah, in this one, I'll be showing you variation of how to use the 1-5 chord progression. This chord progression, if you're a trap producer, you got to know and how to utilize it. So yeah, in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that. I got you, I got gems for you. And all I'm asking to you is you to hit that like button. Then let's start straight into the tutorial, okay? Okay, cool. why do they call it the 1-5 chord progression? Let's say our root note, we're on a scale of C minor, right? Our root note is C. Our next note will be one, two, three, four, five. You get me? If you know music theory to the point that you, you eat, sleep, drink music theory, don't bash me, bro, because, like, I'll be teaching this in a producer perspective. You get me? I'm not perfect by far. That's a huge disclaimer. I am not a pianist. If you can say play piano, bro, it's tough. I've been doing this for years and years. So I thought I could teach it. You get me? Self-qualified. Yeah, certified. Certified one five, man. That was the basic of the all, which is the root note, okay? Then you can create triads, you get me? I can create a triad, which is like this. Then um, I can duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five. Usually you hear this chord progression on most trap records, you get me? Down, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, down. can do that you get me now let's spice the chords up okay let's add like uh this note and then this note after we do that uh we'll just add this one right here now we're spicing up the chords okay to give it more movement and variation pitch it up one two three four five So now let's expand this even more. I like to add like inversion. That's where chord inversion come into play. As you can see, this is our triad. When I delete this note, I pitch it up an octave. Then we can create something like a chord right here. So let me see. I want a minor chord, bro. Okay, something like this. Then we can um invert this. Yeah, chord inversion. Then we, we have this. This is the same as this, but different feeling or tone, okay? Then you can create something like a chord. Skip this note. Boom, you can paste it here, right? But like, let me check some. Experiment with notes. Up and up, up a semitone. Pitch it down. Okay, I love that. Let's see. This is great. Let me fill it up like this. Okay, now we have these notes, right? Let's use these notes. I uh, uh, will serve as a bass. Cause if we can play it like this. Bro, that's trash. You get me? So we have to add some movements. We have to be picky with our notes, okay? So I'll start by doing this. This is good. Then I want to add something like this, maybe. Yeah, this is great. I'm going to add it right here. Mm -mm. You get me? So let's see the next one. Oh, I, I love this. Yeah, now let's see when we add this one on this transitioning part. Oh, okay, okay. We can add this one at the end. Let's listen to this. This is nice, bro, okay? Now we have our rhythm and it's nice. We can add some realism. Let's hold shift and scroll with your mouse wheel to create something like this to make this sound more cooler i like to cut this note like that and do this pitch this one up maybe to give it more variation i can stretch this out as you can see i'm using the same notes but like i'm now sprinkling them out you get me start with this one then bring this one now i have this duplicate it again Okay, now I want to add some variation, so I'm going to do it with this one. Do the same thing, boom, then drag this one out. So let's listen to our sounds. Ding, ding. That's what you do. You, we have created a dope chord progression, okay? This is our one. Now we have to pitch it up to control select it, control B. One, two, three, four, five, up, okay?
control R to, to randomize these. Let me use it on the other instrument. Let me see. Boom. It's like a one shot from cymatics. I'm gonna, I'll just do something like this. Cut that transient off. Then do something like this. Let me push up the piano. Pen it left and this pen this one right. Then let's add a bass real quick. Right now I have two different types of bass, okay? To make a bass, you just copy the bass notes, okay? This is the basic bass. Okay, now let's take that bass from level one to at least level five. You have to have a rhythm. I want to bum bum. Okay. Then da da da. Okay, I'm just do do something like this. Okay, I was doing the rhythm first before I added some notes to not overcomplicated right uh, let's listen to it mm. let's look at the nose that dong okay this one is okay da, da. That's dope. Okay, just control B to duplicate one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> to add variation, you I can flip these ones like this. I want it to be like That's it. You can even use a different bass, like a bass guitar. Oh. Yeah. The sample is crazy, bro. Like simple things like this. To pitch a sample up or down, you select these like that real quick. Then you go here, go to transpose. Then let's go negative two. Oh, this is dope. Okay, let's add some quick drums. I'm gonna go to the Obsidian Vault Multi Kit Drum Loop Kit. I'll just drag and drop the drum loops real quick. Take this open hat. Let's see. Oh, I love this kit, bro. The higher pattern, I will keep it simple too. Some dope snares. Something like this. Maybe this live high too, I can edit like that. As you can see, we did that real quick. Let's listen to how it sounds. So yeah, I hope you understand the one five chord progression and how to use it a bit better. If you love the drum loop kit we used in this kit, it's part of the Obsidian Vault Multi Kit, link in the description. You can even purchase it individually. So yeah, it's your boy Tapso signing out. I love you all, man. Stay safe and peace. Let's go.